I want to provide an introduction to GRETL. Now, GRETL stands for New Regression Econometrics and Time Series Library, and the new is a programming language, but we don't have to worry about that. And there are versions for Windows and, and Mac OS. I've downloaded them and put them on um, a Windows as well as an, a Mac OS computer, and they look essentially the same. So once you've downloaded the program and installed it, you'll get a screen that looks like this. And I know when I first called it up, my first thought was, well, I want to do some analysis. Now, how do I get some data into the program so that I can run some programs? Well, there are several ways to do that. First, you can um, go down here and start a new data set. And it will ask you a bunch of questions, okay? Number of observations, say 50. Are you putting in cross-sectional data? If you're putting in cross-sectional data, you'll just put in the numbers. If you're putting in, let's say, time series data, it's going to ask you whether it's annual or quarterly, monthly, etc. And then it'll ask you the starting date. So you'll move through and you'll type in the observations. If you happen to put in panel data, so essentially you have time series and cross-sectional, it'll ask you how many cross-sectional units and how many time periods, and you'll put that data in that way as well. Okay, there are several other ways to put in data. Now another way to put in data is simply to go to this open data, and you can go to user file, and what you can do is you can load in, for example, um, one of their file types, but you can also load in all different kinds of file types, Excel, SPSS, um, SAS, etc. So let's see if we can't load in um, some Excel data. So I think I have some on my desktop here. Now nothing shows up because my data happens to be in Excel format. So let me go down here, and I think it's in this Excel format. So I happened to download some data from the Dow Jones Industrial Average, and I got that off of Yahoo Finance. So let me open that up, and it asks you where the data starts, in what column and in what row. And let me see, it found one variable and 60 observations. So this just happens to be the close price. And once it's in here, I can right-click the mouse, and I can display the value. So you can see I've I put in a bunch of um, stock price values for the Dow Jones Industrial Average starting in um, April of 2015 and ending in March of 2020. So that's another way you can get data into this computer, okay, into the program. Um, a third way is you may have some sample files. They actually have some files loaded in here, and um, Gretel itself has a bunch of different uh, sources of data. For example, let's say Engel's income and food expenditure data. So we can click that on. It's going to ask me if I want to get rid of the old file and close it. And here we have some information. Again, you could highlight both of these by left-clicking the mouse and dropping down, and you can use the right mouse key and display the value so you can see what observations are here. So once you've done that, you can, um, you can run regressions, you can do some other types of analysis. Okay? Another thing you can do is you can actually load in certain textbook data. Now, if you go back to the, to the, to the um, Gretel web page here, and you can get Gretel, gretel.sourceforge.net, they have data for Gretel. And if you look, they have some data sets from some of the leading textbooks, and they tell you how to load them in. If they happen to be Windows files, you can download this and simply run the program, and it will be incorporated right into the Gretel program so that you can see it right up here. There's actually an easier way to do that. And also down here, they tell you that there are these commands and 
you know, I was looking at these and I was actually quite confused. But there's, there's actually an easy way to get some of this data. So let's see if we can't, can't do this. Um, what you can do is you can click on this icon here which says look at server. And here's this textbook data that they have. So you don't even have to run the Windows program. You can, let's say, let me see what data I have here. Um, I happen to have, let's see, let's see what we don't have. All right, I have green, Gujarati, etc. I do not happen to have um, Woodbridge. So let me see if I can load his. So you click that on, and then you click this to install it. I'm hoping that'll work. All right, it's retrieving the data. All right, I have to restart the program in order to be able to access that data. But let's see here. So I'm going to close that, and I'm going to restart it. And let me see here. So let me go to full page full screen here and I'm going to go to file open data sample data set and now we see this uh, Wooldridge data right here so really easy to import into the um, computer um, so the the basic ways you would do it probably are for many people to type it into Excel and then import it or to download it from some internet source into an Excel spreadsheet and to load it in here. Um, in the next video I'll talk about doing some different types of analysis but first you have to figure out how to get the data in so now that we know how to do that we can move on to some some analysis like regression analysis.